Hi guys! So today I'm going to talk about the March book, The Rosie Project. So I didn't really like this book. Um, I guess it was, it's mostly I just didn't like the characters. Um, but also it was kind of like how the author treated the characters. Like, a lot of the stuff that Don did and it was supposed to be like, oh look, he has Asperger's. I was like, but this, like, you're treating him like it's so different, but this is like a thing that I think is kind of normal. I don't really have an example, but that was kind of like how I felt about Don the whole time. I was like, a lot of the stuff that you're trying to make him seem really different is not that different. And I don't know, maybe I'm just used to being around people like that. People who um, are like somewhere on the autism spectrum or something like that. But it just struck me as odd the way they were treating Dawn as he, he was some kind of thing to be studied. Um, yeah. And I also thought that a lot of the characters were like really exaggerated. And maybe that was just how Dawn thought of them, um, but like Claudia the psychiatrist or whatever, and um, Jean the, I guess he's an evolutionary psychologist dude, geneticist, I wasn't quite sure what his job was besides sleeping with women from every culture. So that was kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I didn't, this, I didn't really connect with anybody in this book. And I didn't really like anybody, so then I wasn't really happy or sad when people got together and broke up and Don learned how to hold a conversation in a restaurant like a normal person or whatever. So anyways, I did read it. I didn't really like it. That's how I feel. But for April, I have no time to read because we're in that part of the semester where I have all of the term papers and also my like master's paper. So I am going to choose this book, which is technically a children's book. And it's, I mean, it's like a, it's like a really short chapter book. It's like 120 pages. Um, you guys are going to be here in LA soon, so you could probably read my copy then. Um, I also have an electronic copy that I can send you. Um, but yeah, it's a fairy tale um, by this guy, James Thurber, and it has like pictures, um, and it's very British, and Neil Gaiman writes the introduction, and he does a better job introducing it than I do, so I'll just let you guys read it when you get here. Alright, well, I'll see... Hopefully I'll see Kayla soon. Why? She needs to upload her videos more often. Alright, bye!